It's time make sure the best gaming laptops in the world, as we all know. But they recently we've been having some complaints about their laptop just suddenly not charging anymore. We noticed this expired with the Acer Nitro 5. So like every other user in the world, I went again. I searched forums, I searched websites. I couldn't find anything. I had to message them personally. And here are some solutions that I got from them, from easy to kind of complex. If this is your first time in my YouTube channel, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back and let's go straight into the video. A few months back, I had this exact same problem with my ASO Nitro 5, the laptop I'm currently using, and I reached out to some of you guys, and like I promised, number one, the simplest. So the first solution, like I promised, is going to be the simplest, and that is to ensure that your ASO laptop is actually charging properly. So you cross check from here that everything is plugged in appropriately, all these sides are plugged in neatly, once you're sure that that's correct, then the next thing you want to do is to look at the back of your laptop like this. So this is this is the charging port as we know. And what you what you really want is to ensure see the charger. This charger here. You put it in and then they are meant to be two clicks. That's how it's built. So one. So I don't know. Let me keep my side here. So let me do that again. So you get that you hear the beep sound of charging. So as you can see, the red light starts to show to show that it's charging. Now this next part, I'll advise you to skip it if your laptop is already dead. Because if it's already dead, you cannot you'll not be able to do what we're about to do because it's software related. So let's go into it. So what you have to do basically is to make sure that your laptop is up to date. I'll be dropping two links in the description or in the pin comment for you to check out the two links to ensure that your laptop is updated and then your driver is updated because sometimes it could just be that your laptop is having some driver issues and it is not understanding your charger anymore blah 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 so once you've done that and your laptop is still charging then go to the next step so the next solution is still software based what we want to check out for now is whether your battery is having some issues is degrading at an unprecedented rate or it needs repair or replacement whichever so we're going to generate a battery report and to do that what you need to do is to go into your laptop and go to search for cmd now you're going to run this as an administrator so command prompt command prompt you run it as an administrator or just let me just tell whichever so you click on yes and this is command prompt here so now you're going to type in power cfg backslash energy i'll see drop this in the description so in case if you don't know what i've typed in you can check it there power cfg backslash energy i hit enter so enable it trackly for 60 seconds observing your sister's behavior so you let this load up and then it's generate the reports and then we'll go get that reports person so as you can see, it says energy efficient problems were found. 11 errors, 10 warnings, 60 informations. In from yeah, information or 60 information up. So if you see this, it gives you a file part where you can copy to find the file you're looking for. So let's try and look for this. As you see, you open your file explorer, Windows E, and let's try pasting that. So I highlighted control control C to copy. I contribute to paste that shit ever. So automatically that opens up your browser and then you have your report. So it says power efficiency diagnosis report, scan duration 28, blah blah blah. So you read this, it says these are the errors. Say disk I do is disabled, power policy dim timeout is disabled. All these are kind of like power warnings. Okay. So you check here to see if there's any good information that might help you. If there's none, then let's go to the other test, which is a battery report test itself. So that was an energy report that we're going for a battery report. So again, we're going to type power CFG. I'll drop this in the description. Then this time you write battery, battery reports, and then hit enter. So it says battery life reports saved to file parts this so you copy this again let's copy this again 
and to our file explorer copy and hit enter so you can see battery reports isa nitro 5 and then you scroll down so we're going to look for any discrepancies like you see that you it tells you your desired capacity and it's going to tell you your fully charged capacity and then it's going to tell you so you're going to look for anything that looks suspicious so you see how your whether your battery started degrading at an unprecedented rate if that's the case i say it's wrong it means that you probably have to replace your battery else this might not be the problem and then we have to go to the next step so this next step is the step where you have to go into resetting your laptop's battery because at this point it might be that maybe something is wrong and then it's like miscalibrating miss calculating what you see wherever it may be so you need to reset it depending on what is a laptop you're using the resetting will be but the constant is you unplug your laptop completely you unplug it completely and then you hold your power button for 15 seconds some other ESA laptops may require you to also use a pin to press a hole at the back of their laptops, but mine doesn't. So you hold the power button for about 15 seconds and then you wait. Then after the 15 seconds, 15, 20 seconds, you plug your charger back in and then hopefully your laptop should start charging again. If this still doesn't work for you, then you might have to resort in the final and most certain solution echoes which is you might have to meet a professional either you take it to an isa representative nearby a shop or something like that to get yours fixed i was actually advised by isa themselves when i reached out to meet a technician a professional to check out my laptop because they couldn't help me over our text so i went out and i met someone and it turned out that mine was actually my charging brick so my charging brick According to them, it probably fell down and a capacitor inside shook. So that capacitor made it that the laptop did, but the charger wasn't sending enough for, wasn't sending enough wattage for my laptop to get charged, that kind of stuff. So yours could be, you might actually need to replace your charger completely, it might be your battery. But then before you start buying things or replacing stuff, it's just best you find a professional to check out the laptop for you. And I hope this video really helped you. If it helped you, please make sure you drop a thumbs up. Make sure you smash that subscribe button and then drop a comment because it's very possible that you might have a solution that I didn't mention. So you have that, you drop that in the comment section. If you have any complaints, I might be able to reply in the comments. If I'm not able to drop a comment, I have dropped another video and remain blessed.